the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. As you can see, we've already started here. Plays it through. Hibbins in with a header! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. And it's played forward. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Can't oh, get the better of his opposite number. A real chance to break. Forward it goes. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He's gone for goal, and the ball's come out, and he's cut it out, away from immediate danger, chance to break, tries to get it forward quickly, shot at goal, oh that is asking for trouble, and the follow-up, it's off target and by quite a way. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Looks to bypass the midfield. Cuts it out. Well, that's where he wants it. And the counter is on. Hoists it forward. Looking to break out here. Looking to hit the front line. Hoists it high. Looks to play him in. It's uh, a minor communications breakdown. And the whistle goes for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at at the very end and I get the feeling the second half may well start in in similar fashion as we'd love to see this momentum maintained so I'm looking forward to what's to come and after 45 minutes it is still goalless a change perhaps after half time we're probably into the second 45 minutes a tight old game so far can that change now That's 
one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Looks to clip it forward. Goes for the cross. to get it forward quickly out to the left it goes gets wrestled off the ball good run ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending crowd appreciates good football all round there keeper's got good distance on that delivers a cross great leap Delivery, no joy. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. So here comes the substitution. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And it's played forward. Five minutes left on the clock. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. It is going to need 30 more minutes. No winner after 90. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. For fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. To extra time we go. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Breaks on here. Kings it out wide. Back into the middle. That intervention was very necessary. Mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Up towards the front line. Has he picked him out? Receives it in a good position. Has a pop! Oh, that's incredible! And that's got to be it! That has got to be it! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Neither side really getting hold of the ball. That's it for the first period of extra time. 
Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? Forward it goes. Tries to get it clear. That is terrific skill. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. What a game. End-to-end, -end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, good afternoon.